Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing really well. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you some of the best trench coats available at the moment. I filmed the same video around this time last year and you guys seem to really enjoy it, you found it really useful, and so I thought I would film an updated version. As you can see, I've got a selection of trench coats to show you here, but I will also be inserting some cutaways as I go of some other great options that I've spotted online. And hopefully there should be something to suit every budget and every style, if you're tall, petite, curvy, um, hopefully there should be something to suit everyone. As usual, they will all be linked below in the description box, but any questions about anything at all, just leave a comment and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Before I get started, just to let you know that today's video has been sponsored by Majuri, and if you follow my channel already, you will know that I wear my Majuri jewelry every single day. All of these pieces that I'm wearing now are from Majuri. I will insert cutaways of these pieces and leave them linked below as well but I have also got some gorgeous new in pieces to show you. So first up are the coin pendants that I'm wearing now. So I've got on the rose coin pendant and the evil eye. Um, the rose coin pendant is said to symbolize strength and obviously the evil eye is to ward off evil. Um, but these are new releases at Majuri this month and I just love them. I've actually popped them on to my um, gold chains that are from Majuri that I wear all the time anyway. I wear these two chains. You probably notice me wearing these a lot together. Um, but I thought that the pendants sat on them perfectly and looked really lovely stacked together. But they also look really beautiful and just like a really lovely, delicate gold chain. I've also got a very simple gold chain from Majuri that I'll show you in a cutaway. Um, and they look lovely styled like that as well. Um, but yeah, great stacked, great together. They're 14 karat solid gold and they've got lots of other styles of coin pendants as well. I'll insert some cutaways of some of the other styles that they do and leave those linked as well. Um, but yeah, I just think they're absolutely gorgeous pieces. Sticking with necklaces, and I've also got this beautiful, delicate little chain to show you from Majuri. This is, again, a new release this month. It's 14 karat gold, and then it's got these tiny little dot droplets on there, which just look so pretty. And again, lovely on its own, but really lovely, stacked with other necklaces as well. And then a couple of new in-styles of earrings at Majuri. First up are these gorgeous block rectangular hoops. And I love the style and shape of these. I think they're really cool. They are gold verme, which is a thick layer of 18 karat gold on top of sterling silver. So you've got the look and feel of gold, but at a fraction of the price. Um, and they do also come in sterling silver as well. And this is the large size, but they also come in a smaller size as well. And then finally, this pair of 14 karat gold solid hoops. And these are just beautiful. Just a really lovely, simple pair of chunky hoops. They come in four different sizes. They come in large, medium, small, and then little huggies as well, which are gorgeous. Um, but they're just really lovely quality, not too heavy. And these are just a perfect size for me as everyday hoops, but also a little bit statement so I could wear them of an evening as well. Um, and one of those pieces that will last forever. All of the pieces I've shown you will be linked below in the description box, along with the other pieces that I'm wearing, including these gorgeous croissant hoops that I've got on, which were recently spotted on Rosie Huntington Whiteley. So if they're good enough for her, they're good enough for me. <laughs> um, and I also have a discount code for 10% off your first purchase at my jewelry, which I, will, which I will also leave in the description box below. But let's get going with the video. Okay, so we're gonna start off with this trench coat from Everlane. And I wasn't actually going to feature this because I got this over a year ago and it's been out of stock for quite a while. But before I started this video, I just got a check in case it was back in stock and it's currently available in a few sizes. So. I thought I would mention it because I just think it's such a great classic trench coat. The style of it, the shape of it, the tone of it is like the perfect kind of trench colour. Um, and it's just great. The fabric is really lovely. It's that little bit, not crisp, but slightly more of a stiff fabric in comparison to some of the more drapey ones that I'm going to show you later on. Um, and it just kind of sits really nicely. I've recently styled it in a few reels over, my, over on my Instagram and I just love how it looks over the top of a blue and white striped shirt. It just, it's just a really cool trench coat. Beautiful quality. In fact, let me just double check the fabric. Yeah, it's 100% cotton. Everlane pieces are always beautiful quality. Um, and even the buttons and the style of the pockets on the side 
I just think it's a really, really lovely piece. So I thought I would start with that one. Next up is a slightly more dressy take on the trench coat. And it's this beautiful satin trench from Karen Millen. And this would be perfect if you were going somewhere a little bit more special, maybe even as occasion wear or of an evening and you wanted a nice long coat to wear over your outfit this would look gorgeous. Um, I actually styled this again in a recent reel on my Instagram. I just popped it on with some trousers and a crisp white shirt and heels and it looked gorgeous styled like that. It just really elevated the look. I just think there's something really special about this and something a little bit different. The tone of it is beautiful um, but it does also come in khaki as well and I'm wearing this in a size UK 8 and I'd say it's pretty true to size. It just flows really nicely. It's just got that real special feel to it as well. And I'm pretty sure this has currently got 20% off. If, if any of them have got any discount codes, then I'll make sure I leave any discount codes in the description box below. Next up is another old favourite of mine, another one that I've had for well over a year. I have worn this so, so much. And another one from Everlane as well. And this comes in lots of different colours. This is one of the first colours that they released it in. And since then it's come in black, in like more of like a bottle green, um, in like a beautiful stone colour, which I also wear a lot, in grey thinking one more colour option as well. I'll try and insert cutaways of the different colour options that this comes in. Now this is always in and out of stock so it kind of sells out and then they sometimes bring it bring it back in. So if it's available when this video goes up then obviously it will be linked. I'm not sure if it will be available in this colour but it might be available in the black or the grey or the green. Um, but it's just a really, really beautiful trench. It's in a gorgeous, like, drapey fabric, so it's super comfortable, really, really soft fabric. Um, it doesn't crease easy, it's a great length, and, yeah, it just looks lovely, styled over lots of different outfits. Um, but I wanted to show you this one because, I mean, if you follow my channel already, you've probably seen me rave about this trench coat many times already. But I wanted to start off by showing you that one because Everlane have just brought out a new updated version of their drape trench coat. And this is it. So it's in a very similar drapey soft fabric, which is one of my favourite things about that trench coat. But this one now comes in a single breasted option as well. And I know last time I did this video, I didn't actually feature that many single breasted um, trench coats. And I had quite a few comments saying to feature more because obviously they can be really, I think they were very flattering if you're slightly more curvy. A single breasted trench coat can be a really great option. Um, so I have actually got a few different ones to show you today. But I wanted to start off by showing you this beautiful drape trench coat from Everlane. Um, beautiful fabric, it's got the waist tie around it and this colour for me is like the perfect colour that I would want in a trench coat, especially styled with a white shirt or a white t-shirt underneath it, um, but equally great with all black outfits. It just, yeah, it's just a really, really great colour option. But it does also come in this beautiful shade of pale blue as well, which I also think is gorgeous and something a little bit different as well if you've already got a trench coat that you wear so much this time of year um, but you're looking for I don't know another style but in a different color or a different style then I think that this is a really gorgeous option again single breasted in the same beautiful drapey fabric but in this gorgeous powder blue shade which again is perfect for coming into spring. Oh, and fabric wise, these Everlane ones are 60% lyocell and 40% cotton. And then if you love that lightweight drapey style, but you're on more of a budget, I found a really great alternative option from Stradivarius. And I'm showing you this in this gorgeous green tone, but it does come in lots of different color options. So you've got blue, I think you've got navy, cream, stone, more of like a classic camel color, black. It comes in lots of different colour options, but I thought I would show you this gorgeous sage green colour as a different option for coming into spring. I thought it was a really lovely colour. Okay, so this one is 100% polyester, so obviously it's not going to be as good quality as the Everlane ones, but if you're on slightly more of a budget and you want that similar style and similar feel of a drapey trench coat, 
but without the price tag, then I thought that this one was a really great option. Okay, next up is a great option if you're petite, and it's this gorgeous little camel trench from ASOS. And when I spotted this on ASOS, I just loved everything about it. Again, I thought the tone of this is perfect. Um, I love the tortoiseshell buttons on it. And then it's got a pocket either side, tie waist. It's got the storm flap at the back. And then obviously the detail on the shoulder as well. And like I said, I just think this is a really great option if you're petite, but equally if you're not petite, but you just want a slightly shorter trench coat, then again, great option. And then another couple of great options if you're petite. First up, this one from Amazon Fashion. It comes in beige, dark red, and black, and looks like a really nice style. And then this one from Jack Wills. It's currently on sale. I think it's got around a third off, and it comes in beige and navy. And again, looks like a really lovely style. So I'll leave both of those linked as well. And then moving on to an even shorter trench coat. Next up, is this short trench from ASOS. And I'm seeing this style of trench coat a lot this year. I feel like it's very on trend at the moment. Um, I spotted one at H&M, I think it was about 39 pounds. I'll pop a picture in, uh, but that looked really lovely, like a little bit more of an oversized style. I also spotted one from Arquette and Cos as well. I'll insert pictures of those two. They looked really nice styles. Oh, and also Farfetch has got this one, which has currently got 50% off as well. So I'll leave that link too. Um, but I spotted this one on ASOS as a much more affordable option and just thought it was a really cute little, cute little trench coat. If you like the idea of wearing a trench coat, but you're not a fan of long trenches, then I thought I would show you this as another option. I like the light stone color of it and I think just really simply styled with jeans and a t-shirt in spring, this shorter style looks really nice. Okay, next up is this trench coat from Free People. And when I filmed last year's version of this video, I had quite a few comments asking if any of the trench coats were water repellent. Now for me personally, that isn't a big issue. I wouldn't tend to wear, like, I know you think trench coat and raining, that's kind of how you'd think of styling them. But for me, I just love how they look styled with jeans and a t-shirt, and if it was raining, I'd have a brolly or I'd have a waterproof coat on. Um, so that's not personally how I would wear them, but I know a lot of you would prefer a water repellent trench coat. Um, anyway, this one from Free People has got a very water repellent feel to it in comparison to some of the others. As soon as this arrived and I felt the fabric, I thought, oh, that's definitely, that's definitely going to protect you from the weather a lot more, perhaps more like the drapey Everlane ones would do. Um, so if you're looking for something like that, then I can definitely recommend this style. Um, a slightly thicker, slightly heavier fabric and will protect you from the weather. Again, really lovely classic camel colour. It's got the popper detail, so you can pop it right over here, and then it's got this little popper detail around the neck as well. So you can obviously have it all done up and protected from the rain, or you can style it open as well. Um, it's a little bit oversized, it's a little bit longer, great if you're tall. And then you've got the pockets either side as well. Um, I wouldn't say that this is the most comfortable style to kind of sit around in, in comparison to more of the drapey ones. But if you're looking for something like a classic trench that's going to protect you from the weather, then I feel like this free people one is a really good option. Okay, going back to single breasted options. And next up is this gorgeous, lightweight, single breasted trench from And Other Stories. And this is very simple. When it's done up, you can't see the buttons at all. Obviously you can also wear it undone as well. I mean, I would tend to wear most of these styled undone. Um, but it's just got a row of really lovely light buttons. It's very classic. It's very simple. It's in a lovely lightweight. It almost feels like it could be a linen blend. Okay, so it's 61% viscose, 28% linen, and 11% cotton. So it feels lovely and lightweight, perfect to just throw on over the top of a t-shirt and jeans. And it just feels very comfortable to just chuck on. Um, and I think this style would be very flattering on a lot of different figures as well. You've got, you've got not got too much going on with an oversized collar or too many buttons or too many kind of big pocket details. It's just a really lovely classic style. And then sticking with single breasted options, I also spotted this one from Amazon Fashion. It comes in beige, green, navy and black. And again, looks like a really lovely kind of classic trench style. And then another great single breasted trench coat from Everlane. And I feel like this is a great option if you're tall. 
Um, again, just a lovely classic style. You've got the storm flaps on the front and at the back as well. This is also water resistant as well, although it doesn't have the same, slightly more, like the Free People one's got a slightly more, not waxy feel to it, but you can almost tell that that would definitely be water resistant, whereas this one just doesn't feel like that. But it says online that it is water resistant. It's also lined underneath as well. And also just to mention that this one hasn't got a waist tie on it as well. It's just a great kind of throw on piece. And it also comes in this gorgeous stone color. I say stone, it kind of almost looks like a mix between a stone and a light gray. Um, and it also comes in a khaki green as well, which I will leave linked below. Okay, so that's all of the trench coats that I've got here that I wanted to show you, but I've also spotted some really great options online that I wanted to talk about. First up, this one from Uniqlo. I feel like this is the perfect mix between a single and a double-breasted trench coat. It's just got the single row of buttons, but you can also kind of fold it over and belt it up. It's a very sort of simple, minimalist style. It comes in stone and black, and it's available from a size extra, extra small up to a size extra, extra large. And it's £79.90, and it's described as being in a lovely kind of soft, comfortable, lightweight fabric as well. So I just thought that looked like a really great option. Next up is this one from Reformation. Again, it comes in your classic beigey stone colour and in black as well. It's double breasted and it's available from a size extra small to a size extra large. And it's made from dead stock fabric. So Reformation by old fabric from other designers or factories or warehouses that's leftover fabric, not going to be used. And then they use it to make these trench coats so it doesn't end up in landfill. So it's much better for the environment. And then sticking with Reformation, I also spotted this beautiful linen trench coat. And I just think the fabric of this looks gorgeous. It's in a lovely, oatmeal linen perfect for spring summer lovely and lightweight and something a little bit different as well i, th I just thought it looked beautiful um, and again this comes from a size extra small to and size extra large and it is 100% linen the white company have also got a gorgeous trench coat in a very pale stone color and it's a blend of lyocell cotton and linen so again i feel like it would have that lovely drapey feel to it like some of the other ones that I've shown you that lovely flowy feel to it but it is low in stock in a lot of sizes so don't hang about if you like the look of that one. This one from Cezanne I actually featured in last year's trench coats video but it is still available this year and I just love everything about this trench coat. I just think the fabric looks beautiful. The way it sits on the models online it just looks like a really gorgeous quality. I love the epaulette detail on the shoulders and the style of the collar um, and it comes in navy camel khaki and a beautiful kind of rosy pink tone as well um, but yeah I just really like that I think there's something about it that just looks really special so I will also leave that one linked this one from Arquette again a very kind of classic style of double breasted trench coat it comes in beige and black and it's a linen and cotton blend looks really lovely style if color is more your thing I've got a few gorgeous options to show you first of all this beautiful one from Hobbs in this gorgeous shade of pink single breasted water resistant beautiful style with the lining and it's just belted with a lovely tortoiseshell buckle they also have a really lovely sage green option as well which is also water resistant and then for something a little bit more out there i spotted this gorgeous pink leather trench coat which sounds a little bit much but actually it looks gorgeous the style of it's beautiful and just a very statement piece I also spotted this one from All Saints, which from the front looks like a very simple, classic, double-breasted trench coat. But then on the back, it's got the um, check detail on the storm flap. So a little bit of a feature on the back with the All Saints written across it. Definitely won't be for everyone, but I thought it was a little bit, something slightly different. So I thought I would mention that one too. This Tommy Hilfiger one is also a great option if you're petite or if you're just looking for a slightly shorter style. It comes in stone and navy as well. And it's available from an extra small up to a 3XL, I believe. It's single breasted and it's got some really nice details on it. It's just got the subtle branding on the belt and on the back of the collar. 
um, and yeah, just looks like a lovely style. And then I couldn't film a top trench coat video without mentioning a Burberry trench coat because I feel like nobody does trench coats quite like Burberry. Um, I spotted this one with 50% off online, which I thought was such a good price considering it's still a very classic style, um, but it's in this gorgeous, more of like a brownie tone rather than a classic camel trench color. Um, but I thought that was really great and with 50% off a really good bargain. So I'll leave that linked if you're thinking, if you're looking to spend a little bit more or invest in a Burberry trench coat, but love a bargain. I also spotted this Burberry trench coat again with 50% off. Actually, I think this one had 48% off, but pretty much 50%. Um, and it's slightly more of like a minimalist style, very simple in a classic Burberry beige color. And then if you're looking to splurge on a classic Burberry trench coat, I spotted this one online which I thought was gorgeous, just a very classic style. Um, and it is full price, but I feel like this style wouldn't really go into the sale anyway. Um, but yeah, very beautiful, very timeless, and a great wardrobe staple. Okay, so that's all of the trench coats for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it and you found it useful. And if you did, please do remember to give it a thumbs up. And I would love to know your favorite trench. If you can possibly pick one from all of these, or even from any of the cutaways I popped in, do leave a comment and let me know which one that you like the most. Um, as I mentioned before, they will all be linked below in the description box in order. And I will also link all of the other ones that I mentioned as well. All of the cutaways I popped in, they will be linked in order as well. But if you've got any questions about anything at all, then just leave a comment and I will get back to you as soon as possible. And also just to mention, all of my jewellery will be linked below along with a discount code for 10% off your first order. Um, but yeah, that is absolutely everything. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully I will see you again in my next video. Bye!